So there's nothing wrong with my camera. Well, there's a lot wrong with my camera. Maybe I should talk like this. But uh, the reason I have it set up like this is if you've seen my um, some of my other videos, there's always a mess around me and stuff. And this area is pretty clean. Maybe you've even seen this background. It's because this is actually a different location. Um, it actually might be the last video you see from this location because uh, it's our first house we ever purchased and it's, I call it my pound button studio, but it, uh, cause I'm the only one that ever comes in the basement usually, but, uh, we're actually finally getting rid of it. So, uh, after being a thorn and a money drain for a couple decades, it's, uh, it's going to finally be gone. But, uh, one of my favorite things about it and why I like it here is cause one, it's clean. Uh, and well, actually if I do a spin around here a little bit, you can see that I have, uh, you know, couple video game cabinets uh, from one up you know I got my guitar in the corner uh, I got an Xbox one in the cabinet with a sound bar I use a projector so basically it's like having a big screen uh, it's actually just nice to kind of be down here and not have a lot of stuff around um, and then also right up here you'll see that I have a few figures and stuff on the bookshelf uh, this is actually screwed in the wall, just kind of covering some pipes. But the reason why I have that there is uh, it's going to be one of the last times it's there. I'm going to have to clean that all out. But I was shopping the other day, and uh, just looking around, I wasn't really thinking of getting anything. I was just with my kids, and, they, and I, we went to Target. And I came across a NECA action figure. Um, I didn't even know they made these, but uh, they're Toonie Tears. And I'm a big Bruce Campbell fan. Um... The, let me flip it over here too. So this is like the back of it. They got a little cut out of the fireplace. Uh, yeah, I guess it's toony, so it's okay. I wish they went a little more demonic with the uh, deer head. But uh, yeah, you can see that it's, uh, well, a toony version of Ash, Ashley Williams. So uh, I'm going to crack this thing open and it's going to, it's going to rest up on the shelf there for a little while at least until uh, I have to clear that all out. But uh, I was pretty excited to get this. I, ha I have a, quite a few Ash characters. Um, I have a, from My Name is Bruce, a uh, signed autograph version of that and a couple of his uh, other action figures. But uh, I never knew NECA toys for doing uh, like a Toonish figure. Uh, so we're going to check it out here. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Um, I am going to save this. I don't generally leave things in the package. Well, that's not true. I actually have quite a few things still in the package, but this is not going to be one of them. In fact, I kind of told myself I was going to stay away from doing this stuff anymore. In fact, I made a, as you probably saw a little earlier in the video, I have an Ecto, or not an Ecto, a uh, Playmobil DeLorean. And that was kind of an impulse buy, too. I didn't mean to... There we go. Save that. I didn't mean to purchase that. Of course, I don't mean to purchase half the stuff I purchase. There we go. All right. All right, so chainsaw does not move. Articulates at the shoulder. Head. Yeah, it feels like a ball. Ball mount. Actually, that's pretty good. That looks really good. I actually think the seams in there is good. Um, legs, hip bending, of course. Got your standard peg at the bottom. Target also sold stands for these, but well, that's interesting. So there's a little chunk out of his butt. It's not I'm playing with Bruce Campbell's butt. Yeah, it's missing a little paint there. And that is probably from where it rubs right there. Yeah. Eh, not the end of the world, though. I won't be showing that part. Let's see here. It looks like there's a... Tar oh, we got an elbow articulation. Kind of a... Leaves kind of a goofy thing, but it is kind of a tunish thing. So we'll let that slide. Uh, the right arm, though, the chainsaw arm, does not do that. Uh, definitely a tunish look to the face, but I can get behind that. Actually, kind of looks like the comic book, uh, depending on the, well, depending on the comic series and the artist. And let's get the uh, S Smart Shop Smart gun out here. This is a single barrel. See how he holds it. 
So that's actually not too bad. He actually holds it pretty decent. Well, let's put his arm in a de decent position. Not too bad. He's holding it. Can he put it away? Well, not really, but... And it sheaths very nicely, actually. That's actually really good. I really like it. Oh, it turns. I don't want to pull or break this, but I'm wondering if that pops off. Yep, I'm going to break it, I think, if I pull it any harder. But it moves. I like that. So, yeah. That is... That's pretty good. That's a little bothersome right there. I mean, I could touch that up. Not the end of the world. I'm not going to bring it back because of that to get another one. I'll keep this one. But uh, I hate to say it's par for the course. Should never accept bad quality. But uh, overall, it is what it is. It's pretty good, um, except for that one little nick. Otherwise, I really like that. It's a nice touch. Chainsaw has a good comic book look to it, or Toonie, uh, Toonie Terror's look, I guess they would call it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I might keep an eye for more of these, but I've always been a big uh, Evil Dead fan. Uh, I think those guys from Michigan did a really good job. Um, but yeah, I would suggest uh, picking that up if you're a big a fan of it. Uh, I just got it at Target. There was a bunch of them. It wasn't like it was hard to find. I don't know what the rarity will be on it. And uh, it'll be a nice little uh, showpiece on the, on the shelf with the rest of the other stuff. Other than that, have a good one, and uh, thanks.